from one, two, three, and now to about 30. The number of schools in Ilukeju perhaps speaks to the pursuit of education in that community. Virtually every street has a school or two, making it more close-knit environment that resembles a one-stop area for everything that supports life. It's also on record that families from other neighborhoods bring their wards to school in Lukweju. This school, for instance, was founded 32 years ago and has produced notable people in the country. Everybody that grew up in Lukweju, I would say 99% of us are successful and educated. I even have an ex-student of this school who is in politics. I have some of them in the entertainment industry. Bizzo is one of them. I've got so many people that are doing very well in there. Ilupeju is a blessed land. It's, it's a lovely land. I won't, I won't leave Ilupeju for anything. I've had opportunities of moving my school to Lekki, but I don't want that. I want to remain in this little Ilupeju community and raise up wonderful children. Urbanization and growth brought about a mixed development so that some areas have been heavily commercialized and have become high streets. Coco Street and Association Road are the main two culprits. Initial layout of Ilupeju was not commercial. The initial layout of Ilupeju was solely residential. A couple of things are missing uh, because, in quotes, the politicians have taken over the supposedly meant to be recreation centers. They've built on them. For instance, even on some of the streets, they kick against churches, mosques. They do kick against it. I'm aware that um, they've kicked against some churches on some streets where they're adults. And they say, they're all, all old. They want their peace. They don't want a church on such streets. Ilukweju hosts its local government. It's a large community sharing boundaries with Munshi Oshodi, Obanikoro, and Anthony. History says that the name Ilukweju means convergence or converging point for people, and by extension, the coming together of several communities to a place for meetings and deliberations. Uh, this is the first estate I can remember around that is well laid, except that. People are dying, people are going off. Some young, young ones are coming and they are not trying to maintain what we have uh, put down here. During the time that we are here, you can, you can get water from everywhere. Everything so neat, we understand ourselves. Uh, every year at Christmas time, you see for the Christmas, we go around, the other children will come out, they will be clapping, will be doing a lot of things and they are all happy. As a result of that, it attracted uh, the Indian people eh, mm. to concentrate in, in Lupeju because the environment is nice to them. You know, they had what well, they still have. If not, the churches have taken some of the factories. The, all the factories were here, and they used to stay in Lupeju because of the caliber of people that were living there then. Ilupeju is just a wonderful, peaceful area. Um, all the landlords to date, I'm sure they all know themselves, even the men, they have this landlord association, they had this um, Iluk um, the Ilupeju Men Association Recreation Club. I remember those days, the men would go play IO, scrabble, gist, talk, wine and dine, and um, Probably age isn't on their side anymore and good health isn't on their side. But they are all still neat and together. Um, once in a while you get them calling each other, Show Wale, I'm coming to take a, co a bottle of beer, I'm coming to dine with you this evening. I, 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 I think if I must rate all the areas in Lagos State, I would give you Lupeju numero uno, still the best. Rising property values has also been attributed to the arrival of expatriates and international community. Before then, rents ranged between 500,000 naira to 1 million naira for a three-bedroom apartment, 
but that has changed significantly to between 1 million naira to 2.5 million naira, respectively. There is a thriving newspaper publication for Ilukeju, several food marts, eateries, offices, churches, mosques, library, shopping malls, hospital, a police station, playgrounds, and more, so that you can be born, grow up, live, work, shop, and virtually do everything that life requires without having to leave the vicinity. There are not too many places like that. I now see myself as part of the Ilugwejo community. I have friends among so many uh, families here. So when they are celebrating, we all gather there. You don't even need an invitation. All you need to know is ah, it's somebody's birthday, somebody's wedding, it's somebody's uh, father's birthday. So we, we get together quite often, and that's something I, I really enjoy. And um, even the people that we can refer to as, as our fathers, the early settlers, if you like, of Indubuidu, most of whom are in their 80s now, for those of them that are still alive, they're still very interested in, in the community and even interested in us as individuals. When we were growing up here in the 70s, it was kind of like a very big family backyard. Everybody knew everybody. We all were running on the streets together. Everybody was uh, everybody's neighbor's keeper. We looked after each other. We played together, socialized together, worshipped together. And um, we had a big recreation hall. We used to play football in the streets. And uh, we'd have Easter egg hunts. And Father Christmas would come and we'd ride our chopper bicycle. Do you know what a chopper bicycle is? Know chopper. You know chopper. Two former governors of Lagos State, Mobalaji Johnson and Chief Latif Jaconde, two successful and well-known business entrepreneurs, Rotimi Williams, a legal icon, and his brother, Akintala Williams, a doyen of accounting in Nigeria, all have their business concerns in Ilukeju from time till date. Because of its centrality of its location, it attracts people. In the 70s, after the first governor of Lagos State, Major, Major General Mubalaji Johnson, after he retired, he looked for a place that fit that criteria and selected Ilukweju to come and live and moved here in like 1976, immediately after the Gowan regime was overthrown. He built a house in Ilukweju and he's been living there from 1976 till today. Likewise, uh, Alaji Jakonde, the first civilian governor of Lagos State, actually was even living here before he became governor and actually ran Lagos State from, mostly from his residence here in Ilukweju. That's another claim to fame of Ilukweju. I can venture to say that we're the only community of this size that has two ex-governors of the state living in our midst. So I think that gives us bragging rights. That's something to be proud of. It says something for the community. If two men of such timber and caliber, two men of such exalted status, would choose to settle down and retire in this very small community, which some people would describe as a sleepy community, Try to convince an Ilukweju resident about living in another neighborhood. You will just be doing better not wasting these words because it will amount to winking in the dark. Its converts remain converted and faithful to the sworn allegiance. Security has been top-notch in Ilukweju and it's by no means a fluke. It has managed property development and averagely so maintained its serenity, the conviviality, and the sense of communal living which breeds a strong society with inspiring value. The lessons are clear. When people look out for each other, irrespective of creed, tribe, or tongue, then an egalitarian society is inevitable. Thanks for joining us this week, and bye for now.